You see, now let me tell you, if you buy a small tractor, or you buy a tractor, everything's going great, and then all of a sudden you lose power, check this out. This this could be your problem. I just, I had that happen. I know the guy that sold me this tractor is a good guy, and I know he would take care of me, but I found this, or this uh, fuel filter was just bad. It needs replacement. Look, I dumped some of the fuel out of it, and the fuel evaporated, the diesel, and there's water. Yeah, look at that. Water. There's water in the fuel. You see that? Yeah. And there's deposits in here. Oh, man. That's not bad. So it's got a bunch of water, a bunch of deposits in it. So if you have failures with your tractor, all kinds of weird wonky failures with your Kubota, check that first. It's right under here, you know. Uh, in line, I've, I've had to pinch off on both sides over here where the fuel pump is and coming from the gas tank over there. I've pinched them off to take it out of the circuit. I'm gonna go run to tractor supply, which I thankfully have now in my, out here in my area. Look at that build up in there. Get another fuel filter. Hopefully they have one and uh, I'll be back in business. Now I've got my filter and I've got a glass to uh, run some of this fuel into. This, you know, this is gonna be a gravity feed tank, gas tank. And what I'll do is run some of this unpinch this line and, and run it till it's clear and we'll check out that water see how much water I can get out of here I have drained all the fuel yeah, it looks pretty murky and with the cost of fuel right now it's painful to do this but yeah I don't like it Okay, so here is where it got even more interesting. Yes, I got the tractor running by replacing the, the filters, but I didn't solve the problem. I didn't even understand the problem. It, it turned out to not just be murky fuel or water in the fuel. Those were compounded problems. Um, what I would later learn was that my fuel system was contaminated with microbial growth. And sure, you know, I got it running for a while. It wasn't running strong, however, and then it would eventually stop running altogether again. And basically I was tossing out filters that were contaminated that I had just paid for. So um, let's, let's get into the meat of this and let me show you the outcome. Look here, I'm adding this uh, BioClean uh, it's a biocide. It, it kills microbial growth in diesel fuel. So I'm adding it to my tractor. This is overkill. This is quite potent stuff. So I'm adding about a half ounce, which is more than I need. And it's my understanding that that won't harm the tractor. Um, yet it will kill the microbial growth in my fuel and the problem that I had when I when I bought this tractor I got very fortunate the guy that I bought it from was a nice guy out in the country out in the farmlands here in North Carolina I traveled it was a four-hour round trip to go get this little 23 horse uh, subcompact but the guy I bought it from took it back when I had a problem because the first day I ran it, it ran fine for a while, and then it, and then it bogged down and it stopped working. <clears throat> and when I was just investigating, I pulled this cap off and I saw black, like uh, slime, in here on the inside of the cap. And I thought it was like a, I thought it was a seal that was in here that had degraded over time, like a like a black rubber seal, because it just looked black and, and kind of gooey. And what it turned out, it was microbial growth. Some people say algae, but more appropriately, just growth. And he 
<clears throat> when I told them that, and I told them that, you know, I, I tried changing the fuel, the filters, I got under it, and there were a couple of inline filters. They were, he said, were they black? I said, yeah, they were pretty, they were, the paper filters were pretty black. He said, yeah, that's a growth. And he brought it back to his shop and he cleaned the whole fuel system. And for that, I was very grateful. And it probably had been in there, you know, it, it's this, I think cha things have changed over the years. And I don't think your diesel fuel is the same as it was back in the day. Because I talk to a lot of old timers and they don't know what I'm talking about, about this microbial growth. In fact, I just talked to a friend of mine a while ago and he said, I don't know what you're talking about. I've had a lot of tractors. I've never had that issue. Well, things change and, you know, some something with the quality or the nature of the, the, the manufacturing or, 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 sorry, refining or whatever they do, whatever is happening is causing these newer fuels to to get, have this microbial growth issue. So what I'm using is a product called BioClean, B-I-O-K-L-E-E-N. And on the back of it, it says, you know, shock treatment is an ounce for 20 gallons. Uh, maintenance treatment is, feral cat doesn't, do you not see me over here? Hey, sweetie, hey, Tinkerbell. Oh, you're not a feral cat, are you? You're a, you're a neighborhood cat with a collar. So <clears throat> this is, I'm going to use a more of a maintenance treatment, which is an ounce per 55 gallons. So a half ounce for this little, I don't know what this is, a 10 gallon is, is more than enough. So anyway, I just wanted to make you guys aware of this problem and what you can do to to solve it and really it's a maintenance thing you, you you don't just solve it you you keep they have a shock treatment and they have an additive they have a cleaner there are several products several products in that line for the for the you know for diesel fuel whether you have a tractor or a truck or or a tank or whatever okay so i'm gonna uh, just put this in here because i'm not using it a lot i'm going to run it for a little while and uh, make sure that it works its way through the fuel line and i should be good all right and i got this by the way at tractor supply you can find it online happy tractoring everyone thanks for watching